Sometimes, in fact, many times, life just happens. We try to perfect our lives, prevent problems, be perfectionistic, and be proactive. One of my favorite sayings is, prior preparation prevents poor performance. I have found that practicing all of these principles helps people to succeed. But at the same time, stuff happens. Life happens. Things don't always work out as we plan them. This case is a perfect illustration of how life happens. This patient is undergoing laser cataract surgery with planned placement of a panoptics lens implant. His preoperative measurements he has an uncorrected vision of 2200 far and 2400 up close, which is J32. His refraction is plus 1.5, plus 0 0.75 at 178, yielding 2020, but he has glare symptoms to 2080. His cataract is graded as 2 plus nuclear sclerosis and 1 plus posterior subcapsular. The capsular axis was created with the femtosecond laser. The cataract was removed safely. Removal of cortex via irrigation and aspiration was routine. Here we are at five minutes into the surgery. We placed the panoptics lens into the capsular bag. The lens optic and haptics are inside the bag. The capsular bag is perfect at this point. We then proceed to remove the viscoelastic from in front of the panoptics lens. We then rotate the lens about 20 degrees clockwise when out of nowhere we see an opening in the posterior capsule at 1 o'clock. The capsule opening is identified immediately. Then I think to myself, how did this happen? I stop, assess the situation, then think. If the capsule is open, then the panoptics lens will not likely remain centered over the long term. So what do I do now? Well, let's place some viscoelastic into the eye to assess the situation and get a better handle of what we're dealing with. I really can't see the leading haptic at 12 o'clock. So we elect to place iris retractors to visualize the leading haptic at 12 o'clock. Now we can see the capsule is wide open at between 12 and 1 o'clock. In order to have the panoptic center, we need to rotate the haptics from 12 and 6 o'clock to the 3 and 9 o'clock orientation where there's equatorial capsular bag that would support and allow the panoptics to center. So we expand the capsular bag with Helon Pro viscoelastic and rotate the lens gently 3 clock hours clockwise. We place additional incisions to allow us to place our instruments at the optimal approach angles to rotate the lens while maintaining a stable anterior chamber. Once the lens looks to be in the correct position and orientation, we remove the iris retractors and burp out the Helon Pro viscoelastic. We choose not to perform irrigation and aspiration of the viscoelastic, which would create more turbulence in the eye which might also draw vitreous into the anterior chamber. The Helon Pro Viscoelastic comes out easily with installation of BSS through the side port incisions. If the lens did not center, my next move would have been to perform reverse optic capture to move the optic anterior to the anterior capsule leaflets while leaving the haptics in the capsular bag. The panoptics lens was perfectly centered at the end of the case as we can see the reflection of the Lumera microscope lights centered on the central optic of the panoptics lens at the end of the procedure. My theory is that the material, the acrylic material of the panoptics lens can sometimes be so sticky to the capsule that the lens can grip the capsular bag and break the capsule because of the unavoidable adhesion of the acrylic material to the capsular bag. 
and it is possible to unavoidably tear the capsular bag by rotating the panoptics lens. This is the only time I've ever seen an inadvertent opening of a capsule bag despite perfect surgery with any implant ever. I've placed about 180 panoptics lenses at the time of the surgery, and this is the only time that I've seen this, but it is noteworthy. The next day, the patient comes in for their follow-up visit. The eye looks perfect, thankfully. The panoptics is perfectly centered. The patient's vision, uncorrected, is 2020 far away and 2020 up close, which is J1+. Refraction is minus 0.25 sphere. Their intraocular pressure is 12 millimeters of mercury. So sometimes life happens. Things don't go as planned. It is how we respond to these daily situations that will define victory or defeat. On a daily basis, we have to stand by to get some. Life happens. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.